it was Halloween, it was about 8 o'clock in the evening I think, and uh, yeah that's the point at which I sat down to feed Eddie. We'd only been home from the hospital about six days. He'd been eight weeks early anyway, so with him being so early, I don't think he'd quite got that gag reflex like we would have. And yeah, we'd started the breastfeed and everything was, you know, going really well. Um, I never envisaged at that particular time when I sat down that what was to follow. And I instantly realised that something was wrong and he was just completely lifeless. Um, he wasn't breathing. Uh, I placed my finger in his mouth to see if there was still any milk in there, but th there was nothing. Um, yeah, it was um, horrifying. So I leant him forward, did some back slaps. He must have done about five. There was still no response from him, still very floppy. His lips had started to go blue at this point. I remember thinking, oh God, I've lost him. Um, I'd shouted my husband. He came running through and he was dying in 999. And then in my arms, I kind of turned him around and started giving him mouth to mouth, uh, placed him on the floor and I started compressions. It seemed to last a lifetime. Um, but he, he obviously responded and uh, we managed to sort of get him back. And then at which point the paramedics came in and they examined him and um, gave him some oxygen. So he was uh, still very sort of blue in the lips. Um, and then he started crying, <laughs> which is the happiest sound um, really that I'd ever heard in that particular moment. I'd done CPR before on adults, but never envisaged doing it on my own child. And I'm so pleased and grateful that I had that knowledge and that training. So for any parent, whether it's a baby, a toddler, anyone can choke or stop breathing. And it's those first sort of minutes that are crucial. And if you know what to do in that moment, then you're gonna save a life. And Eddie wouldn't be here now if I hadn't have done what I did that night.